My stripes show like regiments, military intelligence, murder game. I leave no evidence, credentials. Go ask my preschool, even talk to my old principal. He tell you how I used to pack a number two pencil. von Felix Dorm. Ein Felix Dorm um diesen Kampf. Das war mehr so ein Wischer, aber um muss ein bisschen mehr machen. Ja, ist ganz, ganz schwer zu treffen. Stilen und da war sie wieder die Rechte von Felix Dorm und gleich wird es ja. für Felix Dorm das unmögliche ja, Leistung des 39-Jährigen auf jeden Fall. To the winner by unanimous decision aus Deutschland. Pardon me. No, ladies and gentlemen, from Australia, the winner by unanimous decision, Sam King Solomon. The winner is Solomon by unanimous decision. Once again, unanimous decision, the winner, Sam Solomon from Australia. To throw a little bit of a looping right hand around Norris's left hand, probably aiming for the same spot in the temple that Waters hit to drop Norris. But right now he's got to worry about the onslaught that's coming because Norris is just not going backwards. Norris, power and speed, well disciplined, throws all of them. He's a great body puncher. And down goes Norris. What a shocker! He shoved it quick. He stuck him with a left hand real quick, and it is a knockdown. Of but it's one. Blood on the lower lip of Simon Brown as the bell goes. And look at this, Norris is stunned. Derek Kelly in 87, Joseph Walker at this qualification. Oh, look at that right hand. Terry Norris is down and this might be it. Can he get up? He cannot. It might Seven, be all over. Eight. That's it. It's over. Terry Norris has been dethroned. What an upset. Simon Brown is the new. BC Super Welterweight Champion. Look at this. He's on the ground. Bent comes into the ring. A remarkably inexperienced professional fighter for his age. He's 28 years old. Some say he's 29. He's had only 11 professional fights. In his very first professional fight, he was knocked out by a southpaw named Jerry Jones. And he didn't fight again for another 22 months. So the career got off to an extremely slow start. He can jump start it tonight. Big question here, is Bent strong enough to handle Morrison's power? And the early returns say no. The thing is, if Morrison can control his first. go down twice in the same round against Carl the Truth Williams. Seven, eight. One more knockdown and this is over and Michael Bent knows it. Three knockdown rule in a box. Michael Bent on the verge of a big moment and he's got it. That's it. A first round KO for Michael Bent. And there goes Tommy Morrison's A lot of very unhappy people at ringside, as well as in this arena.
Arena Room. The wrong one. Uh, Johnny had, I think, uh, Pino Rosa was sort of off balance. But like I said, Johnny Gonzalez is fighting a great fight right now. He's being smart and he's being strong as well when he has the opportunity. And also in terms of the number of punches thrown. Yeah. Oh, that was a beautiful body! Oh, yeah, no. oh, 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 oh. Gonzalez is down! Oh. oh, what a fantastic shot! Oh, and he is oh. and just, he's out! Just when everything is going wrong! Johnny Vigilisha! Prince! Oh, what a great victory! Beautiful! Oh my god! Oh my god! A little bit out of range. He's, he's throwing big power big punches. Rock. Left hook by Matagua. Matagua is, is slowly wearing down. Oh, oh right hand by Matagua. Yeah. Big right by Matagua. Wow. He is throwing those punches huh. from New Jersey. By Matagua. Big right by... That one may have hurt Lopez. Gonna right hand by Matagua. Big bombs exchanged, and Matagua lands a right hand. Lopez looks like he's got some issues. Left and a right by. Oh, left hook by Matagua to right. Lopez is in trouble. How much time left in the game? Wow. wow, he's throwing all right lead. That's the way to beat a left hander. All right lead. Both men. Wildly exciting fight. Lopez in big trouble. He is in trouble. He has to hold. It's his only chance, Al. I think you're right, Stephen. I don't know that he can right now. It's a, it's really a time issue. Left hook. Lopez trying desperately to hold on. Matagua's got plenty of time. Plenty of time for me at this point. Matagua had a fight of the year candidate in 2008. In one in 2009. But for Lopez, much at stake. An undefeated. Even get a knockdown. That might help him make this a 10-7 round. A left hook. Vamos, Aunque lo para el árbitro, que lo para el árbitro. Muy cerquita, lo va a parar. Si no quiere parar, lo va a parar. Lo tiene que parar. Si no se defiende, lo tiene que parar. ¡Campeón del mundo! ¡Campeón del mundo! ¡Sí! ¡Campeón del mundo! Blitzow came in very determined for this fight, and I, I think I say this physical size of Blitzow has caused a problem for Cavalier. Hard right hand by Blitzow. <laughs> Hard left hand hook by Blitzow. He's winning this round, too, so far. Hard left hook. A better fight than most would have given it credit for in advance. Increasingly better fight as Jason Litzow continues to land power shots here in the fifth round against Celestino Caballero. Good left hand by Litzow. Right now, after Cavalier shot his volley, he's another right hand lands for Litzow. Those are just physical punches. The way he's just dogging him now. Yeah. Fighter rhythm looks alert, and then the way the Cavalier knocks Caballero into the, the corner with a straight left hand. So he wins the round. Him with the right hand as the clock up. comes down. Has Jason Litzow done it at 13 to 1 underdog? Litzow gets the win, and Celestino Caballero's dreams of becoming the premier featherweight in the world are probably permanently dashed. His legs are very shaky, Bob. Shaky. 
And not get two counters. Good right hand. Madonna chasing her. He pulls back. Ortiz is, is in figured, trouble. Madonna's figured out he can't miss with the right hand and he won't stop throwing it. Ortiz is in big trouble and he goes down. I think he was waving his hands like he didn't want to continue. And I think stop the left ass went up to yep. him. Let's go back. Let's stop it. Yep. They're going to stop it because of that cut. Look at that and uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens from here on out, man. Um, I'm young, but I don't think I deserve to be, you know, getting beat up like this. So I have a lot of thinking to do. Well, he's exhausted. He's getting hit flush. Browns won't stop, Barry. Really a tremendous performance. A really gutsy performance. And he's so about to He's about to drop. Fernandez trying to close it here. That's it. You have to love a kid like Granado. He had no right being here, no right winning this fight, and look what he did. By the end of 1989, Tyson had muscled his way to the top of the heavyweight ranks, and the only legitimate challenger left was Evander Holyfield. Their meeting was much anticipated, but slow in the making. So Tyson signed up for a quick payday against an undistinguished opponent, James Buster Douglas from Columbus, Ohio. In 1990, Buster Douglas was just another heavyweight out there who looked like a sitting duck for Mike Tyson. Betting parlor would put up odds on the fight and that was probably just as a gag. They say it was 42 to one. It was a thousand to one or a million to one. No one gave us a prayer. In February of 1990, the boxing press, Mike Tyson, and a grieving but focused Buster Douglas traveled to Tokyo. The story of his mother's death had been communicated to us, but we didn't know at that moment that it had somehow galvanized him. He was, for this one big occasion, going to be the fighter of his dreams. Get in the shot that will finish things in Oh, the uppercut. What an uppercut by Douglas, and down goes Tyson. Oh, shit. That's a long time. It's over. It's over. Mike Tyson has been knocked out. He asked me what had happened. And I said, you got knocked out. He wasn't feeling too good. His eye was swollen shut. He wanted to break down and cry, but he held himself together. But he took his butt whooping like a man. Small man in tennis. Guns everywhere like the car came with hammers. He's back. They trying to say he down, down. I hear niggas saying he down, Cause I'm back on my grind. Money back on my mind. Yeah, killer cam. The world is mine. 